Well, Christine and Steve, the governor, legislators, the state's attorney general, they weren't exactly happy about today's Supreme Court decision, but they say they were prepared for it. They passed a bill back in March trying to guarantee coverage for those Hanford workers who got sick at work. You know, and they, they don't care. For more than five years, King Five's investigators have told the stories of employees struggling to get compensated for illnesses and injuries they say they suffered while working at the Hanford nuclear site. I want to thank King Five. In 2018, the state passed a law making it easier for Hanford employees to collect workers' comp claims. But today, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled Washington's law is unconstitutional under the Supremacy Clause, saying the state doesn't have the authority to tell the federal government how to run Hanford. Were you surprised by today's ruling? You know, we weren't shocked by it. Washington Attorney General Bob Ferguson says when the state learned the Supreme Court might throw out the 2018 law, he worked with legislators to change that law, broadening the language to include all radiological hazardous waste facilities. It is no longer focused simply on Hanford. And that was a key thrust of the federal government's argument. It was like, hey, Washington state is targeting this very specific federal facility and they can't do that. The new law broadens out these protections. Broadening the coverage passed on a bipartisan basis with an emergency clause signed into law by the governor before we were even out of session. State Senator Karen Kaiser sponsored the new law that she hopes will be Supreme Court proof, guaranteeing coverage and benefits for those workers who earned it on the job at Hanford. I'm not a lawyer, but I will tell you this. We will not allow anybody, including the federal government, to come after those injured workers. That's just not going to happen. Today's Supreme Court decision only dealt with that 2018 law, the one that was passed and signed here back in March, has not faced any legal challenges. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.